now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Holt Hanley. Good evening. I hope you all enjoyed that holiday weekend. We had some very nice temperatures if you were able to make it to the beach, although some of those mountains and valleys trending on probably a little bit hotter than you would have liked throughout the day today, but still have a lot of people enjoying those nice coastal conditions from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk right there. And just to show how much warmer we got today, did get into the low to even mid 90s in some places like Ben Lomond, Gilroy, King City, and just quite a change over our entire holiday weekend. If you remember Saturday, we had those cloudy conditions. It was actually somewhat cold in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then big change, about a whole 20 degrees warmer by the time we get to today. And then it's actually just the middle of this warming trend that we're feeling. That high is going to continue to move closer to the central coast, peaking tomorrow. And then this 24 hour temperature change should look fairly similar tomorrow afternoon as well. So right now, for example, Carmel Valley, 15 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday and then tomorrow expected to be maybe another 10 degrees warmer than that. Now what's driving all this heat? You can actually see all this warm air and this big ridge that's just sitting off of the coast of California. That's going to continue to move in and then that's tomorrow at 4 p.m. You can just see how that high is directly over California. That's why that's the peak of the warming trend. Although throughout the rest of the week it doesn't look like there's any cold air moving into the central coast. It looks like we will still remain above average and especially for those inland locations. And then we'll just have to keep our eye on that cold air way off on the horizon there to see if that can eventually find its way in. But as of right now, it looks like we'll be remaining warm. Now again, just to drive home that point that tomorrow is the peak of this warming trend. This is what the forecast highs look like today. Much of the central valley in the low to mid 90s, that's very similar to some of our inland locations as well. And then if we fast forward to tomorrow, that's where some of those triple digit temperatures start showing back up, places like Fresno, Sacramento, but then also some of our central coast cities getting into those triple digits as well, especially in the mountains and valleys. Now, as you can imagine, when you get that kind of heat moving into your forecast, you do have some of those heat alerts showing up. That orange color there represents the heat advisory few interesting things to notice. One, a number of our cities are covered in that heat advisory, especially from King City to Salinas and the Santa Cruz Mountains. But then locations along the coast look to be in the clear, although they will be above average because of those onshore winds that pick up in the afternoon and then cool things off, at least comparatively to places like Gilroy or King City. Now, what's driving all this? Again, it's that high pressure system off the coast right there. You notice that clockwise flow. What that'll be doing tomorrow is just pushing all of those clouds out of California. So we not only will have all those warm temperatures we've been talking about, but some sunshine to go along with it. And then there's a very interesting part of the forecast that we're going to have to keep our eye on over the next couple of days. It's that little cutoff low that you can see spinning counterclockwise off of Southern California right there. And that's going to be pushing some moisture into Southern California tomorrow. And then it looks like there's a chance for that to work the same way for the Central Coast on Wednesday and possibly Thursday. Cutoff lows are one of the things that forecast models have the hardest time forecasting. So again, we're just going to have to keep our eye on it. But right now, actually, it looks like some of Southern California will get some rain. As of right now for the Central Coast, I think that will decrease our coastal temperatures, but not seeing any chances of thunderstorms for us yet, but again, we'll keep our eye on it. Now overall, just sunshine, warm temperatures expected. The one warning there to think about is that heat advisory, especially in the Santa Cruz Mountains and our inland locations. Triple digits from Ben Lomond to Scotts Valley, 90 in Santa Cruz. I think that might be the place to be tomorrow. That's certainly where I'll be throughout the early morning hours before that heat really picks up. And then you can also see that 101 in King City. Great temperatures along the Monterey Peninsula. 86 in Monterey there. And then a lot more sunshine ahead, but we'll keep an eye on that cutoff low to see if we get some of those clouds. Wow, look at that. All right, wow. very good. And our weather quiz was, when is the peak of hurricane season? I think it's September. I think it's September too. But uh, you guys got it right on the money. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yep. very good. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Holt.